You know, last week we saw another injustice done to the community by the Houston Police Department's Homicide Division. They released another gentleman who was charged in the murder of Josue Flores. The young 11-year-old boy was walking home from school who was murdered in cold blood. Two men were arrested and both of those men were charged with his murder, charged with his murder in different occasions, but yet both have been released for insufficient evidence. When is someone, when is someone going to stand up and say, wait a minute? The incompetence of the Houston Police Department's Homicide Division is a travesty. You're arresting people for capital murder, first degree murder, because of lack of proper investigative techniques and methods, and sometimes just outright laziness. And people's lives are being turned upside down, and now the community <clears throat> believing that a child killer has been arrested on two separate occasions, and both men were innocent. I got a problem with that. First off, to blame the police, it's not the police, it's the district attorney. But let's, let's really look at where the real fault lies. This guy is mentally insane. He should not be on the street. It was Jimmy Carter under an executive order as a payback to the American Civil Liberties Union that put all these insane people out on the street. I, in 1978, um, I was in New York City. Y you could see insane people out on the street. I, I, I'm not kidding, I was in a cab driving on the street and, and a guy with a baseball bat wearing nothing but a, a plastic bag for clothing was swinging at the, cab, at, at the cab. That was the kind of thing the police were so completely overwhelmed with a number of uh, insanely mentally ill people out on the street because Carter put them out there. And now what happens is four years later, the Ronald Reagan gets accused of all these homeless people that are out on the street, homeless, without work, because they're mentally insane. Steve, Steve. And th that's who this kid is. Steve, that's who this guy is that Steve, killed Jose. Steve, what in the hell does all that have to do with the Jose Flores case? <clears throat> it has to do with the fact that these people now are out on the street, Steve, Quan look, mental That's health, the injustice. Mental health mentally ill bigger than this case. Mental health <clears throat> problems is so huge in Texas and America, that needs to be a whole other discussion. But the Flores case, my problem with it is this. It's not the DA's problem. It is the, the DA's no, problem. The DA is the one that, fa that failed to, to, failed to bring why. charges. No, because the district attorney's office is responsible for accepting the information provided to them by the Houston Homicide Division's investigative department. And so the DA's office only accepts what they bring them and then they file charges. She chose they no later bill. learned she chose that it was no a bill. shady investigation she... and that it was not good and the DA's office did the right thing by letting both those men go. So don't blame the DA's office, blame the police who gave the DA's office bad information. She's a liberal leftist. She chose not to bring charges. Oh, so you got a personal attack against her, but not about the facts of this case. She did the right thing and letting those men go. Wrong.